In this report, I just want to talk about some of the uh, action items that came out of last um, the last e-learning advisory committee meeting in November. So there aren't any questions or conversation, and you know, unless something comes up that you guys want to talk about. Um, but I just want to give you guys an update on uh, the e-learning fee change proposal. Uh, Tim Stokes and I had a conversation with our assistant attorney general, who's been assigned to Tacoma Community College, and talked about the proposal. Uh, to see if we could move forward, uh, she stated no. That that the way the fee, the way it was structured, it was an illegal fee. We could not. Uh, colleges are not allowed to to create a comprehensive fee um, for for uh, business uh, business processes on campus. So we couldn't um, make a fee that applied to every single student or every single course on campus. Um, and so we had to we have to stick with our current structure which is only those courses that are using the tools then um, are, are charged the fee. Um, <clears throat> so that's an update on that. Um, the, other th the other action item I had written down from the last meeting was uh, for me to explore if there was a way to run a report in Canvas on the usage of tools in Canvas by students. And at this time there is no such report, so there is not a way for me to, to do that. Um, so, but that is something though that I can you know push forward as a as a um, enhancement request or something like that to see if if uh, Canvas or Instructure is willing to create something like that. Uh, so those are the two action items that I had uh, on my list for me to report out, and that's my report. Thanks.